Hello, hello, and this is Gemma from the Crafty Little Gem. Thank you for joining me today. We are on Smithy Stampers Video Hop, and we are on the month of July, which means we are doing summer. And what I have planned is to decorate up one of these plain flans. Now, they, they come um, like this, sorry, like this, and you can just decorate them up and... With this one, I stamped the images and I coloured them in using the blendings. And on this one, I'm just going to do some stamping. So we are going for the Flowers of Beauty set and we are using these two here mainly. I've got a little bit of um, card just to stamp off with. And we are going in with some of the in colours for 2024. So, what have we got? I've got the Petunia Pop first. So, I'm going to go in with the outline. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stretch out one of these. And it's easier to do it on the side and work on this bit here. So, I'm coming in with the Petunia Pop. Get my other hand out of the way. And I want that in the middle there. I'm going to press down firmly and make sure I've got it everywhere. Wash that off. And then we're coming in with the infill in that collection. And what we're going to do is we're going to load it up with the Virginia Pop, stamp a little bit off. Hopefully I'm going to get this lined up the best I can. And you're going to go in and just stamp over the top. Once your stamp's down, you can remove um, your hand from keeping it still. That is the Petunia Pop. We might be coming back in with that again. I'm then going to go in with the Summer Splash. And we are just going to repeat what we have just done. So, hold this bit here. I'm going to aim for this bit in here and i'm just going to hold that down the best i can because you have got the wooden sticks that you you've got in the way wash that off and dry come in with the infill stamp stamp that off i'm just going to put a little bit more on that i think and try and get that lined up and I aim for mainly the leaves and you can press down quite firmly again and that will infill so wash that off we're going to go in with the uh, peach pie next And what have I done? So I've kind of left a stick one and a plain one. So loading up with that, leaving a stick one and a plain one. And I'm going to aim for this. So this should be about the middle. And again, don't be frightened to press right down on your stamps. Make sure you clean them off after. And you can go in with the infill and then line up this one the best you can. It's a little bit more out of my control as I'm going further away from myself. And there we go. That's that one done. You can come back in and colour them in if you wish. Pull this out. So I've done three. I'm now going to go in with the Pretty in Pink. So get that one ready and have the outline to the stamp there again. Miss one, do one. So again, I'm aiming. This is just the things that I've worked out for this. You don't have to do the same. 
make sure you've got a good image. Come in with the infill stamp, stamp that on, take a bit off. And you can actually see the difference between the ones that have been filled and what hasn't. So, and then if I can get my head right. Oh, that is off because I can see at the bottom it's off, but I'm not bothered. So that is the Pretty in Pink. We have got the Shy Shamrock. Next. And as you can see, I'm, see, I'm taking them out of my stand as I'm using them. Otherwise, I get confused. Ink that one up. Pull this. Leave one. So I want to aim for about there. And once the stamp's there, you don't really need to hold the paper anymore. Clean that off. And go in with the colour just like before lining up the best you can you won't have a camera in the way when you do yours so it will be a lot better so there is all of the colours I'm hoping that you can see them really well so in between just these, I'm just going to go in with the other flower dye uh, stamp set that we've got. I'm afraid, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with just because we need four. I'm going to start off with the petunia pop there. I think. So the colour that I've started with is going to go in here. And actually I can do one on this end and then I can get all five in again four five yeah oh dear me we're doing the same for the flower we're gonna stamp some off make sure you line it up the best you can you do have this wooden thing in the way so if you can get your stamp closer to the edge that was terrible that one but I'm gonna go with it so we're gonna go next for the summer splash so that's that one pop that down take some colour off Find where that needs to be, about there, and that's better. We are going for peach pie next, so we are getting through them. Pull this just at this top there. infill colour make sure you get it right where you want it to be okay so next we've got the pretty in pink and the outline colour first in bold The infill colour, take a bit off and stamp down. These would be a really nice summer gift for somebody. And last but not least, the Shy Shamrock. The outline colour in bold. And the infill colour, 
remember to take that bit off again and make sure you're lining it up the way it should be on there and there we go I might just put a little sentiment down this side but I'll have, have to have it off the desk to make up for the little bit of wooden skewer that we have there but that is basically my summer project I hope you liked it have a go see what other things you can come with up with with using the stamping up stamps and I shall see you for the next one bye bye for now and thank you for watching